uh, safety, got a safety cap on it. You have to push the cap down to open it. And then I'm then going to pour some acetone on a rag. And you know, this stuff smells. It really has a very distinctive odor about it. Now I'm going to reach in, and I can't reach all the way in. I'm just going to reach in and rub back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, up inside the tube. And let's see how well I did. Let's see how clean the, how clean the tube is. You know, it smells like model airplane glue. And you almost don't want to dry it after you use this stuff because you're afraid you're going to get arrested for huffing uh, in New York that it'd be, uh, you know, driving while intoxicated or driving up while under the influence of drugs, uh, which is a violation of vehicle and traffic law section 1192 subdivision 4. Taking a look at it, it's coming out dirty but not terrible. You want to do this in a well-ventilated room, and you know the truth of the matter really is that I am doing it in a well-ventilated room. Uh, you can't smell this, and you can't you can't tell. I guess I'm doing some of this for the dramatic effect. And I really would like you to take uh, Fortunato somewhere. I did. I put her. She's right here. I shut the door. Stick it outside. No, put her downstairs. We need to put her outside. It's a little cold. We don't want to freeze the cat. Also, go downstairs. They have a long wooden dowel, Anne. And bring it upstairs. She's out. Right. I'm just going to roll this over a little more. And just keep rolling it. I've got plenty of acetone on here. And I'm up to the weld now. I'm I'm really working at where the weld in the tube is, and yeah, there's a little weld splatter in here, there's no question of that. Go back and forth. Just get it as clean as you can. Hmm, is there a shorter one than that? This is the one I found. Okay, go look downstairs to see if this one is about half that size. Again, you know, when you're dealing with a tube that's four and a half feet, uh, you're not going to be able to uh, reach all the way in it, or halfway in it. You know, you go as far as you can, get up to your elbow, get up to your shoulder, you just rub. You use as much pressure as you can, you're not going to hurt anything. You really just want to get all the grime off. Now, why am I cleaning the inside of the tube? Well, you know, the inside of the tube is shiny right now, and the one thing you really don't want in your telescope is anything that's going to reflect any stray light into your optics, into your optical path. Well, not the optical path so much, but back onto your mirror. Right now I'm working from the mirror side. So what I'm ultimately going to do here is I'm ultimately going to paint this interior really, really, that's the one in your right hand. That's a good one. The other two you can put back downstairs. Here again, you know, I'm going high solvency acetone. By the way, acetone also works really, really well with pitch. If you want to clean off your mirror tool, get the pitch off it. I'm going to put this top back on for right now in case I do anything stupid like knock it over. I probably ought to also put the acetone on the floor. Uh, you know, acetone will clean off a tool. A glass tool. I would not want to use it on a uh, dental stone tool if that's what you're using for your polishing. And so again, just you know, really, really mash down on it a bit and clean the inside. Now, can't reach all the way in. I'm not going to try to reach all the way in, but I want to get about a little more than halfway, and I really want to clean the inside where I couldn't reach. So I've got this dowel. I'm holding. What's the matter, Anne? Did you call me? No. I've got the. Uh, Dowel, and I'm just cleaning up, overlapping where I could reach to where I can't reach, overlapping on both sides, just trying to get as much of the grit and grime and grease out of here as possible. And ultimately, before I paint this, I want to be able to run the rag over the entire tool on the inside and have it come up clean. That way I know I've got a clean tube. Also, when I'm turning this, how do I know that I'm actually 
cleaning the whole tube and actually going completely around, I use the focuser hole as my reference. And I start with the focus hole on top, and when I see the focus holes come all the way around as I'm turning the tube, then I know that I've gone all the way, gone as far as I can go, done the entire inside of the tube, and it should be pretty clean. And I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do this is my second my, my second really serious attempt at cleaning the inside of the tube. I'm going to take my third attempt tomorrow. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to have to find and figure out a way that I can spray the flat black metal paint that I have inside this tube and get it all the way up into the tube. And what I'm looking for is something along the lines of a thingamajig. We all know what a thingamajig is, right? A thingamajig is that device that uh, they use in uh, hardware stores and old-time grocery stores to reach things on the top shelf. Uh, that's actually what it's called. It's actually called a thingamajig. Um, brilliant little device <coughs> that you saw in the hardware store when you went with your grandfather back in the 60s and 70s, that's old enough for me. I guess there's some guys on the list, some guys that are watching this that may be into their 90s, including you, John Dobson. Uh, I know you're just turned 92, congratulations. Um, you know, but if I could get some sort of a thingamajig, and I think they may sell them at Home Depot, where I can put the paint tube in and I can just pull a button and it'll reach up and, and it'll transmit the power and compress the uh, compress the switch on the thing on the uh, on the tube on the paint rather that should be that should be sufficient that should be able to get the interior of this tube painted the really interesting part and concern that I have is not so much so much that as um, you know, here comes Fortunato again but, uh, yeah, Fortunato, that is not for you. But to get the paint evenly over the interior of the tube, that's, that's really important, to get the flat black throughout the tube. And, come here. Come here, Fortunato. You're a fine beast. Thank you, Ian. Fortunato can go in the basement. this around. I've now gone past where I started. And I'm reaching way, way in. Way, way inside the tube. And you know, it's not coming up immaculate. I don't know if you can see, but there's a dark spot in here. But it's coming up a whole lot better than it was last time I did this. And that's encouraging. So much for that. Let's turn the tube around. Okay. Now this one, I really don't need my stick because I can reach in further beyond where I was reaching from the other side, but I still need to really just reach in and get this clean. I mean, cleanliness is really important before you paint. You just have to have it clean. I'm in my dining room right now, my little girl Anne, who's 16. 
is upset because daddy won't let her get her driver.